Hey guys, welcome to another DevSecOps training. This is the way of the matrix. I want to show you how to store all of your passwords, AWS keys, uh, private keys in such a way that you can put them safely, securely into a versioning control system without ever having to worry about compromising the security of your systems. I'm going to use a tool called Ansible Vault in order to secure uh, securely encrypt all of my passwords so that I can store them in a versioning control system keep them so close to my source code uh, without ever actually compromising my uh, my passwords let's get started so let's say I have this file called passwords and I want to uh, include that with my versioning control system I've got a couple of variable files uh, a couple of variables. I have my username and I have my password, but uh, I can't store it in plain text in a versioning control system. So using Ansible Vault, I can secure those passwords, encrypt them, and put them in a versioning control system. And then when I call them later, I can then decrypt them with that same password and uh, never have to secure those or never have to compromise the security of those systems. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to use the Ansible Vault command. I'm going to tell the Ansible Vault command to encrypt this file. Now Ansible Vault is going to ask me for a password. And for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to use a simple password, red123. Confirm, red123. Encryption successful. Let's take a look at what that file looks like now. You see, it's been hashed it's been encrypted and it just looks like a blob of useless data now to decrypt that if I was to use the uh, uh, you know um, the Ansible vault command and I give it an incorrect password say green one two three I'm gonna get an error it's never gonna let me up uh, it's never going to allow me to decrypt that um, unless I give it the correct password. So let's try one more time. Red123. Decryption successful. There you go. Now, let's take this one step further. Now, there's a tool that I really love to use to generate super secure passwords, and that's called LastPass. It's free to use. You can download it, sign up for an account. Uh, if you want to pay uh, $24 a year or 2 bucks a month, you get a mobile version. But it allows you to generate super secure, high entropy passwords. Now, um, I'm going to include uh, capital and lowercase letters, uh, letters A through Z numbers and special characters and I, I don't want to allow characters to repeat now this is going to give me a 64 character password I'm going to copy that I'm going to go back to my terminal I'm going to go into my I usually store my passwords in a uh, in my SSH folder you can store them wherever you'd like um, but for the t sake of uh, simplicity, I'm going to store that password here. You're going to see it's a nice, that's not a password that I want to type in every time, but it is super, super secure and very difficult to crack. So I'm going to write this file. Now I'm going to use that same Ansible encrypt command. However, I'm going to tell it to where to find my vault password file. And it's in .ssh under matrix. Never have to type a password, just the way I like it. And to decrypt it, it's going to be the same thing. Um, use the vault password file flag. This time we're going to decrypt this password done now I want to show you what it looks like when you encrypt this file you see very simply the file is encrypted 
let's decrypt it say we want to add some information to this file done decrypted now once you encrypt it you can share this out with your team um, you can um, tell them um, where to find your passwords um, what file to use and and you never have to compromise the security uh, of your systems this can be AWS keys this can be um, uh, private keys whatever you want will all be secure using Ansible vault and it's perfectly safe to put those encrypted files into a versioning control system come back again to see more tutorials on uh, the DevOps way thanks for watching talk to you later bye